in my early childhood I realized that I like to be creative, that I construct things and uh, I also played around with chemicals and I did my own uh, experiments with a little chemistry lab kit yeah? and I built up my own electrophoresis unit to split water for example and it worked quite well. Yeah? So I ran 5 amps through and so really worked well. And um, so I was always investigating and trying to understand nature and to split up uh, the things to the smallest parts and then to see uh, how they behave afterwards. So this was uh, so the, my start and then I basically decided to study physics because this uh, would bring me as close as possible to this understanding which I would like to have. Yeah. I studied also one year abroad in Oxford University and then I really did some low temperature physics. I developed a detector for, uh, to measure the mass of uh, proteins and there I really realized that uh, uh, I like science and I really like to, to pursue a scientific career. So if I look back on my time at university, I would probably uh, study more minor subjects like chemistry, for example, to increase my knowledge there. And uh, I would also probably, looking back also on my PhD time and postdoc time, I would also probably spend some more time abroad, so maybe one or two years more postdoc abroad. So this would be also very enjoy enjoyable uh, to get some more cultural input from there. Um, I discovered neutron science very late in my career, I must admit, and I um, did uh, X-ray scattering, so I did time-resolved X-ray scattering with a time resolution of 100 femtoseconds, and from that, this was the first diffraction experiments in my life, yeah, and from that I thought I could do the same thing with neutrons, yeah, and then I applied for the job here, and then I realized that the best time resolution I could get here was one microseconds because the neutrons are just not pulsed here and there are so few neutrons so this is very difficult and they, the neutrons have a velocity distribution and this allows you to only get one microsecond time resolution. But I still would like to do experiments in this direction, yeah, so this is still in my head. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy very much the international atmosphere at JCNS, so uh, we have many different uh, 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 researchers from many different countries, and I also enjoy that uh, I can pursue my own science, that I can write grant applications and uh, get in some money for postdocs myself, so I have time for my own ideas. Uh, and, uh, but I have also some basic financing uh, which is covered by JCNS, and this is also, I enjoy much. Yeah.